Hello everybody, Ian Ops here, welcome back to The Hunter Called the Wild. Today we're looking at Varonga um, in Africa, which is the new map that just released here. And uh, let's take a look and enjoy and take a, appreciate this map real quick here. Like, look at this. They did a fantastic job on this map. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like here. And I've been playing a little bit already on the map, just checking out, exploring a little bit, seeing what's what. And uh, I've really enjoyed it so far. Uh, it's a, a different style of hunting because a lot of the, you don't have collars for a lot of animals, so you kind of have to like do a bit more stalking, I guess would be the best way to describe it. So you kind of have to uh, go out and uh, see what you can see. Now they haven't included things like giraffes and elephants and tigers and stuff like that in here yet, but I suspect that uh, they will. In I suspect they'll do something in the future, so we'll see what happens here. Now, here's kind of the interesting part because, like, right here, like this is what a lot, a lot of the African uh, area looks like. It's just wide open plain. So sometimes you'll see something, sometimes you won't see something. A lot of times you end up just running getting close to it and kind of being like, oh look, there's something right there. Obviously the watering holes are going to be a big part in uh, this map like they are every other map too. So, But the ambient sounds are really good too. Uh, let me turn that up a little bit here. It's surprising what uh, what's in this map here. So, And you'll hear like a lot of, I found a lot of, it sounds like a lot of bugs on this particular map as you're walking through. You'll hear like a, uh, you'll hear like a, a bee or something like buzz and it'll, or like a bug or a mosquito or something like that and it'll be by your ear it's kind of crazy so right now I'm just heading in the general direction uh, of an unknown spot uh, right now I'm uh, currently working on harvesting a spring rock and earning 100% integrity that's what I'm trying to do at the moment now spring rock tend to be tend to move in a big big groups uh, so far from what I've seen you can see them by themselves but they tend to move around in big groups as well so and they do really just spring quite a bit, so. And like I said, you, there, we don't have, we don't, there's only two callers, so you don't have a whole lot of, uh, you don't have a lot of calling power, let's call it, um, like you do normally with the other maps. So it's kind of interesting to see how that works. Like I think right now, there's three callers that work on this map. There is the antler rattler, rattler, rattle. <laughs> Uh, that works with the lesser kudo and then these the pig collar which calls and supposed to call in the warthogs and then there's the jackrabbit collar which calls in the uh, the jackals side striped jackals I believe they're called I don't see anything over there yet so this is what I tend to do when I'm trying to look for some specific species I just don't go looking for it because and it you end up not finding it half the time um, unless you know where some of their hiding holes are. So if I go over here, that's to two o'clock, it's too late, too early, to pass, pass. So the places I have found have all been not the right timing basically. So I'm just looking around right now, see if I can see something. Also this map is really good for uh, ATVs, I've discovered so far, because as you're exploring around, you're just like, oh, there's so much open land. So you really want to just hop on the ATV and just gun it. Also, they uh, added a couple, they added a new gun, uh, which I believe I have right now, which is kind of cool. Um, there it is right there. And apparently I just didn't set it up. And what oh, is the nitro? So if you want expansion or penetration, whichever, i go for this one right here. And then uh, they're like, it's expensive for 10 bolts on that thing. I didn't realize how expensive it actually was, and I looked it up, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's uh, a little bit more expensive than I thought. Is it a... Is it considered a shotgun? Oh, it must be considered a shotgun. It's a rifle. No sight. Okay, well. There it is right there. So, it's kind of an interesting gun. So that's like for the uh, water buffalo. So far, what my uh, so far what I've experienced is the uh, some of the, some of the animals I thought would take a bigger caliber actually don't. Like the blue, oh, what's it called? A blue, not a blue buffalo. Oh shoot, I forget the name is now. 
Uh, if we go into our codex here and go to wildlife, it would be a blue wildebeest. Like you could probably use a 270 on that. I used a 338, it was too big. Cape Buffalo is the big one you need the big gun for, basically. Weapon class 4. Lesserkudo, you can use your. Oh, they actually put the antler in there so it says what it uh, can actually use. Do they do it for all of them? Hmm, never noticed that. So, you can't really call this at all, but you need weapon class 4, which is that new gun. And uh, the scrub hair, that would be like a 22. Uh, you can use 270. That's the big new one, the king rifle. That one probably could be a. Yeah, and then the reindeer. We don't have reindeer here, so. But those are the animals they've added. They may add some more la animals later on, like they did with um, Hirschfeld and with the Canada goose. Who knows? Oh, there's some tracks there. Good. I haven't seen anything in a while. But it, <laughs> one thing I did realize is this map is super, super vast. Like, you're just kind of walking around and exploring, and you're just like, oh my goodness. It's like. You don't realize how far things are, and you start walking in that general direction, and then you're just like, "Ugh, what do we got here?" Blue wildebeest, a canter, a male. Oh, I'm not looking for a blue wildebeest. So so far, I have my tent with me, and that can allow me to, uh, you know, drop down and just sleep whenever I want to. So what I really should do is uh, grab my tent and go to one of these sleeping areas right here. That's feeding Springbok for 04 to 09:30. Yeah, I think that's the newest one, or the closest one, I should say. We'll, f we'll get this area here first, and then uh, see what happens next. But it's funny, you think you would see just animals all over the place, but you don't. It's kind of, it's bizarre. Uh, like, when I first thought walked came into the map, I thought I'd be seeing animals, like, left, right, and center, like, everywhere, basically. But you do in some places, in other places you don't see anything. It's kind of strange how that works out. No, nothing over there. And that's where we're heading right there, obviously. With the spring box, I'm surprised we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing yet. But. They do tend to move in packs quite a bit there, so. Which is pretty cool to see when they have a whole bunch of them. Apparently the Cape Buffaloes are like that a lot, too. You'll see just a whole heap of Cape Buffaloes going at the same speed. Or just a whole bunch of them going all together in one somewhere. And then every single time I hear something in the ambient noise, I always, almost always think, like, well, what's that? Like, is, is that something I'm supposed to know what it is? Like, because so, you know how, like, as you get used to some maps, you'll have, like, certain areas where it's like you have, you pick, oh, there's something right there, and there's something right there, and you're like, oh, what, <laughs> what is that? So it's kind of funny. I don't know what all the sounds are yet. It is kind of amusing in that. In that regards, at least. Mm. Nothing yet. Probably could just continue running at this rate. Oh, here's some more tracks, of course, soon to start running. Yeah, I'm, I'm suspecting this is a, uh, a blind up here, so there's probably a, uh, a wait and uh, a sleeping area, a feeding area or something. Oh, there we go. Good. So you actually have to use the smallest gun for the Springbok, like the 243 is what I used last time, so. And I think I have soft points in them right now, but the hard part is I need to get 100% integrity, so. I believe that's what I have in there, soft points. Let's find out here. Uh, Ranger, yeah, soft points, so they're better for mm, penetration expansions, the same, basically. And the hard part is just locating these without scaring them in this kind of area. Like, if you see them in the open air, it's not so bad, but spread out when they're in that kind of bush like this, it's not as easy. And apparently, there's the, the side striped jackal is the one that you, uh, you'll see at night, according. I've seen more during the day so far than at night, mind you, but. There's some tracks there. It might be the same ones.
I'm not making a whole lot of noise, so it's just a question of just spotting them now. That's going to be the hard part. Well, through all this. And that grass right there, you can stay hidden in that tall grass. Which is pretty scary. Well, it would be in real life, you know, considering like you could have like a tiger right there or something. Or like a lion, I should say, not a tiger. Alright. What tracks are these? Is this a spring rock? Was it at a run or a walk? They kind of just jump, so I don't know. It was in this general direction, so try not to spook them here. A trot. I knew you were heading in the opposite direction, weren't you? So you were heading towards me. And then I probably, probably spooked it somewhere, and I don't know where it's gone now. I'd have to be awfully close to them to see them at this point. See anything in here either? Also, the warthogs and Cape Buffalo and the wildebeest will kill you if you're not careful. I was watching a video the other day uh, with a guy by the name of Fooster. He's the guy. I don't. I don't know why, but I ended up watching uh, his hunter videos because I enjoy them. And uh, that's what he does. He relies with his party. Oh, there's a feeding area up here. This is good. And you hear the <laughs> the, the crickets and the ambient sounds. They sound, everything sounds like so loud because you don't see much and it seems so quiet. And then all all of a sudden you hear like you know a random sound and you're like, what the heck is that? I should probably be quiet around here. What's this right here? Is that wildebeest? It is. This is part of the game you gotta hunt. I don't know. For some people, they don't have the. Oh, what's that? Warthog warning call. Okay, let's get this area over here. I can try to call that pig in, but. Another one. Okay, this is what we're looking for right over here. Let's see, what do we got, what do we got? Quite a few tracks over here, this is good for us. Don't see any animals yet though. Resting area it looks like. Oh, for a warthog. That's probably why it was over here. What was this right here? Is that the pig? Or yes. So we're obviously in pig territory here. Not the springbok. Although I f I, the feeling I get in this map is I think the uh, because there are lots of open areas. Which direction did it head into? That way. Because uh, there are lots of open areas, I get the feeling like. It would be a good map to have. I'll use a blind on because there's lots of areas where there's like a wide open field. So at least that's my feeling. All right. Looks like that is a mating call. I can't call that thing in at all. don't see it either. Well, the hard part is like, I find you gotta make visual contact. It's kind of like the first step a lot of the time because you can't call them in. And then once you kind of make a visual contact, or you could stalk them like, you know, on their tracks and whatnot, if you wanted to go that route. I don't see anything over there at all. But look at this! Look at the map, the clouds, and everything. It doesn't rain much in this map so far, which I'm not that surprised by. 
I mean, if you compare that to, let's say, the other maps that we've had so far. Okay, what's we got here? More pigs. Crickets, don't see anything over there. Yeah, a lot of exploring on this map. There's so much to see. Is this the pigs one still? Ooh, Springbok. To 12? O nine hundred to twelve. Well, that's great. But it's not O nine hundred. I don't think you can hide in your tent. I don't think maybe you can actually. I don't know. All right. What have we got over here? Nothing. More tracks. No, oh, that's a pig on a walk. How fresh is this over here? A trot. Nope, nothing over there. Oh, what's that? Just an opening. Yeah, it looked like something there though. And that's always a funny part. You're like, what's that? And you're like, uh, oh, it's a bush number of times I've done that. Nope, nothing there yet. Let's go sprint up this location here. This is probably just another hunting blind. Maybe it's not though. Great if you come this way. Ooh, point of interest. Excellent. Right, look, 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 look at this map though. Like, it really is gorgeous. What's this? For thousands of years, the sand have looked to the stars and spun stories of their origins. Hmm. Very cool. So that's that. So we came basically came from over there roughly. And we want to be down here. For the morning basically. Let's go ahead and call in our tent. And then we will crest. Or ATV. There we go. Disassemble a tent. And that's the Savannah outfit right there. Alright. Now, this is an example of where. Uh, Having the ATV is really nice because then you can just book it from one area to another fairly easily. Especially on this map I find we have these wide open areas like this. There we go. And who knows, maybe we even run into some animals at the same time. Things apparently we were chasing before. Oh, there's something right there. What is that? That's one of the side striped jackals, I think. See? That's what they look like there. Oh, 
Oh, I missed him. He went over that tall grass there. I don't know where he went now. Probably make enough noise to scare him anyway, so. As long as he scares in the same direction, we're okay. Oh, there he is. Like I said, as long as you scare them in the same direction, it's okay. Where did he go? You don't dismount your ATV quick enough. Oh, there's way, way up there. Wow. It's amazing how far they can actually get, though. Look at this. We'll head over there, see if we can't get at least one animal here. There we go. And turn the light off here. Bring your tent back up. morning. Uh, I'm going to go to, let's say, 0400. There we go. Let's dismantle this now again. And the area right in front of us here, apparently there's a Springbok area. At 0430. Let's see if we can't get in a good spot up here. There we go. Let's see if we can't see something here. It's just part of the waiting game in this game, though. Some people hate this aspect. Some people love it. No, nope. nothing over there. So this is my loadout right now. I got the Strata Stradivarius, the Ranger, and the King Forty Seven DB Zenith. Quick to load up, incredibly powerful, and double barreled to even any hunter's odds in. So I don't know. It's double barreled, so you get two shots, but you can only uh, you can't shoot them at the same time because it's kind of like a shotgun, kind of not, I guess. So it kind of works in your favor in that scenario, in some scenarios, I suppose. Uh, I'm looking for perks, I guess. I have a couple perks in rifles. What's that focus shot? Hold your breath. Just waiting for them to show up here, apparently. Nothing over there. Theoretically, they could be here already. It's the hardest thing to determine based on the way they have this thing set up here. I don't see anything. 
Now if I go for a run and I spook something. What time is it now in the game? 408. Mm, still early, I suppose. Oh, what's that? Now that one I can actually call in, but it's downwind of me. Which is not going to be very helpful at all. We'll try anyways, though, while we're waiting. The jackal's the one that's kind of hunts at night, so we'll see what happens here. Nothing yet. Scent lemon on. I hope if I put it in my inventory here. Oh, apparently I didn't. Let's just grab that real quick while we're here. Uh, backpack, and we want to grab the scent eliminator. There we go. One thing I should check for too is to see if they had any other new scents they've added. Black tailed deer, so they don't have the musk deer scent. No. So, the one the black tailed deer I still can't get. I'm level 38 apparently. Although it's not in any sense. Okay. Let's see if we can call that Jacqueline now. Mm, sun's coming up slowly. on the savannah yet. I know it seems ridiculous carrying the tent around with me all the time, but I find that carrying the tent around is so much better than, uh, than carrying around lots of other things. You can switch it out anytime you want, which is kind of nice. Like, I just have um, a small backpack, I guess, on right now. I don't know if I can even show that anywhere. No. What's the hunt club about today? Daily? Weekly? Nothing yet. I guess because they just released something, so... We're holding back on that for the time being. Mm. Nothing yet. The sun slowly rising over that. Nice. The spring rock are supposed to be here around 4:30, so we should see. Uh, hopefully, see one prancing in. They're kind of hard to miss when they're we're moving around quickly, because they literally just jump up in the air. Looks like something off in the distance there, but I think it's just the road or something. So when you move around like this a little bit, it looks like you can see something. I wonder if that jackal's still coming in. If it is, I can't see it. 
watch it be in the one area like behind me or something like that and I can't see it which almost always happens a little circle around behind you the ambient sounds in this game it's just crazy like more than once when you're walking down by the water all you hear is like mm, right in your ear and you're like oh what the heck is that like you might it feels like you almost have to like you almost have to uh, swipe around your ear to get rid of the mosquito or something no nothing yet patience is a virtue they say right patience is a virtue some people are more patient than others, though. So I know they're going to be, they're supposed to be here around 4.30, so that's why I'm just waiting in this area, because I need a spring box, specifically. So, that's what I'm, that's the reason why I'm just kind of chilling out by this particular location, because I know they're supposed to be here on 4.30 to 9.30. What's that down there? But, we've yet to see that one yet. Giving a recall to our uh, jackal who is somewhere out there. I guess because there aren't very many callers, the skill uh, is it the stalker? I think it's an ambusher skill. Uh, which one is it? Uh, each level in in decreases this. Uh, easier to pinpoint? No, it's not that one. I think it's this one? No. Increase the chance of attracting animals with the same localization from nearby animals using colors. No, there's one other one. Oh, that's the one I'm thinking of. That's using the random chance to... Yeah, so even though you may not be calling for that specific species, you may get a vocalization from it. There's been many times where I've been calling in like a, a moose something and I've had deer come straight in, so... But I don't have that skill specifically, but it still happens, so... see we'll see if we get this jackal or not I think it may have gone away but now usually at this point they they've had enough time to kind of swing in and kind of get close enough but not always if they're not here now they're probably not coming in or they've gone out of a range or they're behind us somewhere and I can't see it which is also entirely possible where are these spring blocks at? That's what we're waiting for. I still haven't seen the scrub hair yet either though. Which is like the rabbit in this one. Which would be fun to find once you finally find it. No, no, no. Nothing yet. Wonder if I should even move towards this a bit more. Blue wildebeest. Oh. Kind of in a pretty good point up here, but let's move forward just quietly. Just in the off chance we actually see something. No, nothing over there. Sunrise is slowly happening over there. To the east. It's funny, I thought that was the sun over there. I realize it's the moon now. Obviously, that's west. Don't see anything, yeah.
You know, if you don't see them, doesn't mean they're not out there, though. They will be at some point, right? Supposedly. What's oh, a sign? It says caution, no fences. It's like an open reserve. Don't see anything over there yet. Yeah. Oh, there's something. What are they getting down there? Mating call. Okay. Well, it's okay. We can call the pig in. Or try to. Sometimes a big part of this game is just staying still and not moving around too much. Because oftentimes, there's been more than once where I've just been kind of like, I went AFK for a little bit and then came back to where I was sit sitting and I was kind of like, hey, look, there's a, there's a, there's a deer right beside me. So, that's how it can happen sometimes. Nothing over there yet, eh? Surprised we haven't seen anything, actually. Giving her a call to that pig. I believe that color is supposed to work on pigs. Let's go to our codex here. Wildlife. Warthog. Oh, actually it doesn't say. That's weird. For some things they say... Uh, so if you look at... Uh, this antler rattle. Nothing for the jackal. Although that color does work on it. Hmm. Strange. Nothing yet. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Surprised we haven't seen anything, actually. Yeah, every time I hear something that's some noise, I always think it's a new an animal I haven't seen or seen or heard yet. But no. Not usually. That warthog's probably gone away now. I don't think I don't think they added any lures for pigs yet either. As far as I know. I don't think they have them for the regular warthogs. Wild boar, I should say, sorry. No. There's the sun slowly coming up here. I'm expecting there to be a herd of kudu coming at some point. Ooh, rain. This is the first time I've had rain happen here. Well, it's cloudy. It's funny, we've had rain off and on for the last little while, too. Okay. Nothing. Just a light sprinkle. That's all we're gonna get, apparently. I don't know, I guess we'll keep moving in this general direction then. And hopefully we come across something. Because that looks like a bedding area right there. It looked like one, but apparently it wasn't. It's 
it's an eating area for the spring box, so they should be coming in at some point. 0430 to 9, I think it was. Yeah, been here for half an hour now. You'd be able to see them jumping up through the grass if they were here. But nothing yet. Do I still need to have these the lights on? Maybe. May not be bright enough for that. Well, I'm trying to be quiet here, so just in case we do actually we do actually find something. They won't run away. Well, at least they might just get spooked a little bit. What's that? Shrub. <sighs> oh, goodness. All the animals are like brown, colors are brown, so it's like every time you look off in the distance and there's something that looks like an animal, it's a shrub. <laughs> a lot of the time, actually. Alright, nothing here yet. I don't know if that's due to our, uh, the hunting pressure we've put down in this area. But this this particular area, there was no hunting pressure, so... Oh, that's a big color change there. What happened there? Well, I guess we'll do a little bit of walking instead of crawling around. Just circle around this area, see if we can't find what we're looking for here. Watch this. Now that I'm gonna walk, I'm walking around. I'll probably find something and spook it. It's so when I first started on the map. I was kind of like, "Oh, look, there's something right there," and then I found like a whole slew of springbok. And then I got a mission to to get a springbok. And then lots of hunting blind over there. And then I don't see any. <laughs> That's kind of what happened. Nope, nothing there. There was a pig in here somewhere, but I don't know where it went. But so many ambient sounds, it's crazy. Alright, nothing there yet. Okay. Oh, where's my first sign of tracks there? But I've had it in a while. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick around this area. That's part of that warthog. Or it could be the jackal that didn't really come in. Let's go see how fresh this excrement is. Probably not that fresh, right I guess. Very old. Oh, what's that? Ooh, lesser kudu? We can actually call those ones in. Let's look for, uh... That's the less one for the lesser kudos. See if we can get on top of that rock, maybe, and spot them. At the very least. Haven't seen many animals. It's almost a little embarrassing. But this is what happens in the game. You, uh, you come across some animals. You uh, miss some animals. I can crawl up here. Do I have to jump? lie down and we're invisible. Yeah, I don't see anything still.
Nothing. A wide open plain of nothing right now. a little invisible here, so it's something somewhere over there. Woo, there we go. Off to the east? What's off to the east? There's nothing off to the east. So shouldn't have got spooked from um, the hunting pressure or anything. Maybe it saw me? I mean, that's entirely possible. I was standing on a... crouching on a rock. If it did... If it did, uh, smell me, it could be off to the east. Or west, I should say, sorry. No, nothing over there. Oh, I can hear it. There it is. Or lesser kudu. I don't even know what, which one is my 270. Oh, I don't even have it on the board. That would help if I did. There we go. Well, at least we got a lesser kudu. <laughs> Only took us 45 minutes to get something, but hey, we got something. Let's see what we did here. Ah, uh, so much for the springbok. Oh well. That's all part of the game though, sometimes the game's like this. You'll explore a little bit, you'll find some things, and you won't see any animals for a bit, and then all of a sudden you'll find like a... Uh, an area where there's like a ton of them. Was that with polymers? Or was that why it was polymer? Oh, it wasn't too bad, I suppose. Spine shot. 30 meters. Dark brown fur type. Nice. And that's the uh, what they look like right there. A little bit. That's the feature they added recently. Anyways, folks, I think with that, I'll end it there. My name is Eraps, and I hope you like this look at the new map, the African map. Look at yourself to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Hunter Call of the Wild. I'll catch you guys later.